Good day, math learners! I'm back! In this topic, we will discuss about meshes of variability of group data. So, consider the example below. The list gives the number of hours spent by grade 7 students on leisure activities during a typical school week. Find the range, average deviation, standard deviation, and variance. We you know already what measures of variability mean in our past discussion, right? Okay, so this will be the given data as shown in the table, or as you can see in the table. When we say range, the range of data in a group frequency distribution is the difference between the upper limit of the highest class interval and the lower limit of the lowest class interval. In symbols, range is equal to UH minus LL or, or it, you can say it's as upper limit of the highest class interval LL is lower limit of the lowest class interval. In the given table, the highest class interval is 26 to 30 and its upper limit is 30 while the lowest class interval is 6 to 10 and its lower limit is 6 that's why 30 minus 6 30 minus 6 the range is equal to 24 and that will be the value of our range next will be the average deviation the average deviation of group data can be calculated using the formula average deviation is equal to summation of the frequency absolute value of x minus mean over n where f is the frequency ad stands for the average deviation x for our given value and this will be the symbol for our mean and n stands for the number of measurements or the number of data example number one so this will be our given data as you can see in the table. Step 1. Add 5 columns for x, fx, quantity x minus the mean, quantity absolute value x minus mean, and frequency times the absolute value of x minus mean. This will be the table. Please familiarize this table. Okay, first column for x, second column for fx, third column for x minus the mean, fourth column for the absolute value of the x minus mean, and the fifth column frequency times the absolute value of x minus the mean. Same data. Step 2. Fill in the third column. Find the class mark x of each class interval by adding the lower and upper limits of each class and dividing the sum by 2. Okay, so this will be our upper limit and this will be uh, our lower limit and this will be our upper limit which is 30. So just simply add 26 plus 30 that will be 56 divided by 2 that will be 28. That's why 28 is here. Same here, 21 plus 25, that will be 46 divided by 2, and that is 23. 16 plus 20, that will be 36 divided by 2, that's why 18. 11 plus 15, that will be 26 divided by 2, that will be 13. 6 plus 10, that will be 16 divided by 2, that's why 8. Step 3. Fill in the fourth column. Solve for fx. 
by multiplying the frequency and the class mark. So just simply multiply 8 times 28. 8 for our frequency. And x for our class mark. So 8 times 28 and that will be 224. 12 times 23, that will be 276. 7 times 18, that will be 126. 6 times 13, that will be 78. 2 times 8, that will be 16. Because frequency times x, that's why fx. Okay, step, step 4. Find the sum of fx. When you say sum, you are dealing with summation. Summation of fx. So you just simply add all the values of fx here. Okay, you will add 224 plus 276 plus 126 plus 78 plus 16. And the summation of fx is equal to 720. Step 5. Find the total number of values, which is n, and solve for the mean of the given data. So, from the given frequency is 8, 12, 7, 6, 2. Just simply add all the frequency so that you can get the value of our n. So, 8 plus 12 plus 7 plus 6 plus 2, and that is equal to 35. And the value of our n is equal to 35. Then, you can get the value of our mean because the formula is the summation of fx over n. The summation of fx, as we already got in our uh, from our past slide, that will be summation of fx is 720 and our n is 35. Okay, uh, I repeat, summation of fx in our past slide that will be the value of 720. And our n is equal to 35. 720 divided by 35. And that is equal to 20.57. Make sure your answer must be in two decimal places. Run off your answer in nearest hundreds. Step 6. Fill in the fifth column. Solve for the division by adding or by finding the difference of the class mark and the mean. So remember our mean is 20.57. Okay. Just simply subtract x to the mean. So 28 minus 20.57. That will be 7.43. Same here, 23 minus the mean or 23 minus 0 point, uh, 20 point 20.57, that is 2.43. 18 minus 20.57, that will be negative 2.57. 13 minus 20.57, that is negative 7.57. 8 minus... 20.57 that is negative 12.57 okay step 7 solve for the values in the sixth column which is the absolute division of x minus the mean so hint just make all the values in the fifth column this will be our fifth column just make all of them into positive so it's positive 7.43, positive 2.43, positive 2.57, positive 7.57, positive 12.57. Step 8. For the seventh column, find the product of the frequency multiplied to our absolute division. So, F times this one, the X or the absolute value of x minus the mean. So 8 times 7.43, that is 59.44. 12 
times 2.43, that is equal to 29.16. 7 times 17.99, uh, I mean 7 times 2.57, and that is equal to 17.99. 6 times 7.57, that is equal to 45.42 2 times 12.57 and that is equal to 25.14 Step 9. Find the sum of the frequency times the absolute value x minus the mean. Just simply add all the values for this column. Okay, add all the values in this column. 59.44 plus 29.16 plus 17.99 plus 45.42 plus 25.14 and the summation of f multiplied the absolute value of x minus the mean using your calculator that will be 177.15 now we can get the value of our average deviation because the formula is just simply Summation of frequency multiplied to the absolute value of x minus the mean divided by f. The value of our summation of frequency uh, multiplied by the absolute value of x minus the mean that will be 177.15 and the value of our n is 35. 177.15 divided by 35 that will be equal to 5.06. Make sure your answer must be in two decimal places or run off your final answer into two decimal places. Okay. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to answer the given formative assessment. Good day, math learners! I'm back! This will be the continuation to our past discussion from the last video. So, we will tackle about the measures of variability of group date. That will be the standard deviation and the variance. Standard deviation for group data can be, can be calculated using this formula. SD is equal to square root of n quantity summation fx squared minus quantity summation fx raised to 2 divided by n quantity n minus 1, where SD is the standard deviation, F for the frequency, X for the given value, and the symbol for the mean, N is the number of measurements or values. Here are the steps that can be followed in solving for the standard deviation of group data. Let us continue answering the example by solving for the standard deviation to our past discussion for in getting the average deviation. Same process. So, same given. The list gives the number of hours spent by grade 7 students on leisure activities during the typical school week. And this will be the table. Okay, step 1. Continue the table used for the average deviation and add two columns for x squared and fx squared. So this will be the column x squared fx squared step 2 solve for the values of the square of the class mark x squared when you say class mark x squared just simply squared the values of our class mark which is x so simply 28 is 1 28 times 28 that will be 784 23 times 23 or 23 squared is equal to 529, 18 squared is equal to 324, 13 squared is equal to 169, 8 squared that will be 64. Step 3. Find the value of fx squared by multiplying frequency and the square of the class mark. So you will multiply the frequency and the square of the class mark which is x squared 8 times 784 that will be 6272 12 times 529 
that will be 6,384. 7 times 324, that will be 2,268. 6 times 169, that will be 1,014. 2 times 64, that will be 128. Step Add all the values of the last column, that will be fx squared. So, just simply add all the values for this column. 6,272 plus 6,348 plus 2,268 plus 1,014 plus 128 and that will be equal to 6,030. Now we already have the values of our summation of fx squared. Now we can get the value of our standard deviation. Standard deviation, as we remember, square root of n quantity summation of fx squared minus quantity summation of fx raised to 2 divided by n quantity n minus 1, where the values of our n is equal to 35. The values of our summation fx squared is equal to 6030. Summation of fx is equal to 720 as we computed a while ago. Then substitute all the values. That will be square root of 35 quantity 6030 minus quantity 720 raised to 2 divided by 35 quantity 35 minus 1. Then simplify. Then using your calculator, you can get standard deviation is equal to 5.98667989243. Then, there is not our final answer. We need to what? We need to write off our, uh, our answer into two decimal places. So, 5.98. And that will be 5.99 because 6 is more than 5 beside 8. That's why 5.99 is our standard deviation. In solving for the variance, uh, we will just continue for what we get or for what we solve for the standard deviation. So the steps in solving for the variance for group data is just the same with the steps in solving for the variance of ungrouped data. To find the value of the variance, just get the square of the standard deviation. In simple notation, variance is equal to n quantity summation fx squared minus quantity summation of fx raised to 2 divided by n quantity n minus 1 or just simply the square of the standard deviation. Then. For the step 1, get the value of our variance. Variance is equal to the square root of the standard deviation. As we can see in our table, so we already computed the, the standard deviation which is 5.99. So, we will just substitute the value of standard deviation. So, 5.99 squared is equal to 35.8801. So, run off to two decimal places. So your final answer is 35.88. Now let us have the summary of measures of variability of the given example. This will be the given, right? So the measures of variability are range is equal to 24, average deviation is equal to 5.06, standard deviation is equal to 5.99, Variance is equal to 35.88. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to answer the given formative consistent.